Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Look, no hat, no hat. I don't like not wearing a hat, but so many people are like, stop wearing a hat. I'm not ever gonna stop wearing a hat, but I thought I would do one video for all of those who wanna see me without a hat. I wear hats because I feel like I don't like my hair, so the hat covers it. Plus, it's kind of my YouTube trademark to wear a hat, because I always do. But this is just one video for those of all of you that ever wanted to see me without a hat. Here it is. It's pretty uncomfortable for me. I don't like it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So today I have an unboxing for you. Premier Yarns has some new yarns. So of course, whenever a yarn company gets some new yarns, I like to try it out, show you guys what they are, and then you can decide if you wanna buy them or not. Now, as always, uh, remember, I'm not affiliated with Premier Yarns at all. I don't have affiliated links. I bought this yarn myself, so I'm not affiliated with any yarn company. If you're new to me, you know that now. If you're old to me, you already know that. I'm just an independent channel. I don't uh, accept affiliated links or sponsorships. I prefer it that way. Nothing against those that do. It's just not for me. So, Premier Yarns. Um, my experience is with Premier is good. I've never myself had any problems with them. They always ship relatively fast for me within, I usually get it within three days maybe, um, unless they're having a sale. Sometimes it can take longer, maybe a week to 10 days, you know, something like that. But that's expected if you're going to, if they're having a sale. And I don't think, no, I've never had to contact customer service, so I can't tell you how that is. But uh, you guys want to go ahead and, and open it up. Now, I, want, I just want to point out, I know I blab a lot because I drink caffeine all the time. I'm a caffeine addict, and it makes me talk so, so much. So I'm, I, if you don't like my talking, you can turn me off. Anyways, I'm a blabber mouth. Anyways, I just wanted to say that um, I do these unboxings because people like them. That's the reason I do them, educational purposes. A lot of people cannot get out of their house. I always have to say this in every video, just in case there's new people. A lot of people can't get out of their house or they're in another country and they do have access to these yarns, but only order online. They rely on me <clears throat> to tell them about the yarns. They trust my opinion. And that means the world to me that they trust what I say, um, they're willing to spend their money <clears throat> on it, <clears throat> excuse me, on a yarn that I say that I like. And you know what? I would never jeopardize that. So my reviews are always honest. I tell you the, the truth. And you know, it makes me feel really good, all those that really uh, trust in me. So I always try to do the best review that I can. Okay, let's open this box. Now, I think it's mostly their new yarns, if I can remember right. Hey, I did also want to tell you that uh, I did start a new channel. I'll put a link up on the screen night right now if you guys want to check it out. It's called The Bod Squad. Bod stands for Bago Day. It's actually just uh, a vlog type channel, a family vlog. Um, probably won't have a lot of my children in it, um, but sometimes. If you guys like those type of videos, um, go check it out. Go subscribe. Um, see what you think about uh, Bod's everyday life, Bago Day Crochet's everyday life. Me and my husband and my kids every once in a while. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there in case you didn't know. A lot of people know already um, and subscribed and I'm thankful to those who did that. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I enjoy making those videos. But is it in no way going to affect this channel? This is my number one priority right here because I like yarn <laughs> a lot. So anyways, yeah, check out that channel. Give, subscribe to me. Check out the videos if you like those family blog types. I know they're not for everybody. Oh my gosh. I got some beauties in here. I won't lie. It looks pretty. Let's check out their invoice. See if we got prices. We do. Premier always puts their prices down. Thank you very much, Premier, if you're watching. I always enjoy an invoice that has prices on it because without them i have to look them up and it makes my video longer and more daunting okay so, <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm happy to look them up but it's better when they're on a price okay so first off they are now carrying 
a few lines of stitch studio by nicole so i don't know a lot of you probably know already that michael's bought out ac moore so ac moore is going out of business um and some of them will, will be replaced by michael's and some of them will not be re, they'll probably be replaced by be sold and replaced by something else but yes so ac moore is going out of business and now Premier is going to start selling some of their yarns. I don't know how many they're going to sell. I think they just started it and they only had um, two different kinds as of now. Um, but I will continue to check to see if they carry more because, you know, I don't live near an AC Moore and I always had to order online when I bought from AC Moore. And I guess it's the same now. But their yarn is not bad. So this is what they had at uh premiere so this is stitch studio classic solids plus yarn um and it is their 400 gram ball these are 6.99 a piece on premiere okay so stitch studio um by nicole I believe this is their just regular four weight type of yarn. You know what I mean? Kind of like, no, everybody, every company has kind of that regular four weight yarn. It is softer than Red Heart Super Saver. It is, in my opinion, it is softer than Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. It is softer than Red Heart with Love. It is a nice, soft acrylic yarn. It's for being a, a run-of-the-mill, I don't want, want to really want to call it that, but you know, um, at, you know how I said every brand has kind of their own brand of four-weight yarn. This is a nice soft brand, the uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole Classics. So it is soft, extremely scarfable. Scarfable is my term for yes. I would definitely wear it around my neck as a scarf. It would not bother me. I would make a top out of it and wear it with nothing underneath it it would not scratch you at all it's very very soft it would make a very nice soft baby blanket it's it's soft enough for that it's it's a nice soft acrylic yarn but you have to remember it still is a, uh, an acrylic yarn so let's read about it stitch studio classic is a soft to the touch acrylic worsted weight yarn that's machine washable this yarn has spectacular color palette and is perfect weight for detail and stitch dimension. Enjoy and inspire with every stitch. 100% acrylic, medium four weight. There are 744 yards in this scheme. <clears throat> um, made in Turkey. All right, so 744 yards for $6.99, and it is, like I said, it is a very nice, soft acrylic yarn. I think if you buy this, I got a couple more colors here. Let me fill those and see if it, sometimes it dyes and makes the colors different. I think if you buy it, you're going to be pleasantly surprised at this being a four-weight yarn and being quite as soft as it is. It's not bad, but still remember, it is still just a medium four-weight yarn. But it's nice. It's got the pool tab in the middle there. That's easy. I like that. I like that. Not every company does that. Let me check out the weight of it. Definitely classified as a four weight. It's about perfect for that. So $6.99, 744 yards. Um, definitely softer than a Red Heart Super Saver. <clears throat> I'm going to grab one of their jumbo rolls here and see what the yardage is on them because I can't remember. Yeah, this is stiff compared <laughs> to that. Um, it's 744 yards. So it is the same. Um, this is a lot softer, I would say. Probably like <laughs> five, six, seven, eight times softer than this. Um, I do know, though, I think these run maybe six fifty to seven dollars at walmart this is just a bit more money maybe right at the same i can't really quite remember what they run at walmart but i think it's you guys can correct me in the comments i'm thinking it's between six and seven dollars uh when they're not on sale i could be wrong but anyways um even if it even if it was cheaper this is way better 
So 699, 744 yards, very nice soft acrylic yarn. Now, uh, I keep messing with my hair because I don't like not wearing a hat. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed in these. So the colors I got, this is the navy. They didn't have a lot of colors at the moment. And I do believe once time goes on, um, they probably will add more to it. I can't guarantee it, but if they're going to start carrying it, they might have all different kinds. Now, this one doesn't have the pool tab on it, and neither does this one. But this is Heather Gray. Um, soft Rose. Those colors are pretty true to color on my camera. There, I think it's picking it up pretty well. And this one is, man, that's leaf green. That's nice. That's a nice soft. Like, I would definitely purchase in a heartbeat of a Red Heart Super Saver. You wouldn't even have to ask me twice. Now, the other one they carry is the same but smaller schemes of it. So, um, we'll see how much this one is. That was the 400 gram and the Stitch Studio regular are 299 that's a pretty good price now red heart and they are just as soft that is soft acrylic um you buy this you will not be disappointed that's pretty much true to color that is showing on my camera i bought these to do some hats for hat not hate i can't get over the softness of that acrylic yarn so this is the same only in smaller skein form so there's 372 yards for $2.99. That's about the same yardage as a roll of Red Heart Super Saver. Red Heart Super Saver at my Walmart is $3.77. Sometimes you can find it on sale for $2.99. But regular price, it's $3.77. Premier, they are $2.99. Good deal. I'm in awe. I can't believe that they were that cheap. That's that's weird. I'm looking it up real quick. Yes, they are $2.99. I'm like, they must have made a mistake. But yes, they are $2.99. And the big ones are $6.99. It doesn't really seem like, it doesn't say they're on sale or anything on their site. It just says that's the price. That's a killer deal for as soft as this yarn is. Squish, squish, squishy, squish. It passes my squish test. That's nice. I have had this before though, so I knew that it was a soft yarn. This one's called blue, just plain blue. Man, that's... Deep wine, that's pretty, 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 pretty. I like that one. And I got, this one's pretty, pretty, pretty too. Pastel peach. So all of these that I've gotten so far have been soft. Now, I don't know if you'll ever run across a color that is maybe a little stiffer because of the dyes, but so far they've all been pretty soft. Um, most, some, some have might have been a little softer than others, but all still very much softer than, than Red Heart Super Saver. Like this one is a bit stiffer, but still very much softer than Red Heart Super Saver. This one is Gentle Brown. Pretty much true to color. Very pretty. $2.99. I can't get over that. That's that's a good deal. I'm going to have to get some more of those. Okay. Now they had some new uh, sweet rolls. Premier Sweet Roll Frosty Yarn. It was new. And they were, I think, when I bought these, and as the making of this, I don't know if they're on sale or not. They, they're $4.99 is what it says on their site right now. And that's what I paid for them, $4.99. So I don't know if you're familiar, familiar with Premier Sweet Rolls. This is just a new addition. Now, uh, Sweet Roll Frosty. 245 yards of a medium weight, number four, 100% acrylic yarn. A machine wash, tumble dry. Where you made at? Where you made at? Made in Turkey. I couldn't have guessed that one. Now this is a nice soft yarn also. It's not bad. Not as soft as that. But it's still it's still a nice soft yarn. Definitely scarfable. Definitely you could wear a top with a sweater with nothing underneath it. Um, it's a nice soft acrylic yarn. They call it frosted because it has that washed jeans look I guess. Kind of makes it look frosted. 
so it's it's nice 499 224 yards i guess it's comparable to their other sweet roll yarns that they have on the market um this one is really pretty the color i have here is called iced coffee of course i like browns centers don't match when you buy online i don't know why i like to have centers matching but that's okay I got three different colors of the uh, Premier Ice yarns. <laughs> Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. I can't wait to open up this, what's in the bottom here. I'm so happy that Stitch Studio by Nicole's a good deal. I'm going to have to get some more of that. Okay, and then there's this one. These two match up nicely. Is that pretty? That looks like blue jeans. I think this would be good for ha not hate because they want 75% blue. And I think that little bit of gray in there wouldn't hurt there's not even very much in that one so but we'll see i'll see i don't know if i'll use these or not the color of this one is called jack frost very nice very pretty very true to color on my camera i like it very pretty and got one more color they have a lot of pretty colors and the frosty from your frosty This one is called Marzipan. I think I bought this one because it looks so springy. Like it would be nice to make Evelyn a spring, a light spring lacy uh, sweater or short sleeve sweater top or something like that, you know? Even though it's a four weight, you know, you can still make a lacy stitches for spring and stuff. That's pretty. I like that one too a lot. The colors are very beautiful showing up pretty true to color i don't think you will be disappointed if you purchase this remember these centers will not match if you're big on color control they are long striped cakes so it would be easy to color control but some people don't care about color control so that doesn't matter either okay now another yarn that um you they started to carry is universal i like universal yarns i do um, they did have a few before, none that piqued my interest. But then when I was looking, they actually had some that really made my interest skyrocket. So let's check them out right now. Universal Yarns is a very good brand. You know, you can't really find it in big box stores um, like at Michaels and Joann's. Not that I know of anyways. So let's see what we got here. Universal Classic Shades. Now these are four, four forty nine. Very true to a color. That's gorgeous. That is pretty yarn. Look at that. Let's read about it. Um, there's hundred and ninety seven yards, and it is classified as a medium weight number four. It is a roving style yarn. So, as with the roving styles, they tend to go from thin to thick. So, you will probably see spots that go down to a three and maybe some up to a bulky five. And that's natural with roving yarns to do that. But overall, most of it will be a four weight yarn. So, it does have some wool in it, I believe. I can feel it. Yes. It's 70 acrylic, 30 wool. Machine wash on cool and lay flat to dry. Made in Turkey. It is scarfable. I would definitely make a scarf out of it. The color I have here is called Fresh Greens. That is gorgeous. And that is what color it oh. is, pretty much. Yeah, that's just about spot on, I think. Pretty close, anyways. That's a pretty yarn. I like that. Four forty nine. Now I know there's not a lot of yardage in it. 197 yards. You just have to remember Universal. You know how there's cheaper yarn brands, there's mediocre yarn brands, and there's high-end. Universal is in the middle. It's a good yarn brand. It's not the best. It's not the worst. So you will pay a little bit more than what you would for, say, the, you know, like Red Hard and, and stuff like that. But that one's really pretty. And then I got it in another color. This one is called Campfire. Is this it? No. That's a different one. Sorry about that. That's not it. That's not it. That's a different one. Here it is. Campfire. I got two of those. That's pretty. 
Remember, it does have wool, and you can tell, but it's not really, it's not really that scratchy at all. Ain't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. Very, very pretty. And that is what. The, that's just like the green one I just showed you. Universal Classic Shades. Beautiful. It's appropriate name. Campfire. Looks like the fire with some burnt logs on it. That's pretty. It's going to make something really pretty. Okay, so this one right here is called Classic Shades Frenzy. And the Classic Shades Frenzy is $5.49 a skein. Okay, let's read about it. This is what it looks like. That is gorgeous. <clears throat> Look at that. Marbling in there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful yarn. Mm. So it's 70% acrylic, 30% wool, 158 yards. Now this one's considered a bulky number five. So that's probably why it has a little less yardage in it. And again, um, it will go from thick to thin, um, but from, it might, you might see, since it's a roving style, you'll see spots that are like a four weight, but overall, most spots in general should be a bulky five. I love bulky five. It is actually my favorite weight of yarn and I love roving. It's my favorite style of yarn. This is gorgeous. This is going to be made into something pretty. I actually got two skeins of it. Maybe I'll make some hats for hat, not hate for it. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, 158 yards, bulky number five, machine wash on cool, lay flat, made in Turkey. Gorgeous. The color I have here is called Standard. I don't know if that's the name. I would have called it Standard. Seems like it deserves a better name than that, but it's still very pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? Showing up pretty true to color. Pretty true. Maybe just a bit brighter on my camera, but not much. You probably wouldn't notice. It's pretty yarn. Beautiful. Um, I got another color of that, and this one I think might be my favorite so far. This is the same as that, only the color is called Creekside. You know I love brown, if you're new. I love browns, and I like burnt oranges, and stuff like that. That's my style. That is freaking gorgeous. I'm sorry for saying freaking. That has to be one of the prettiest yarns that I might have in my stash right now. But that's my own personal opinion. These are my colors. That is one gorgeous yarn. I'm going to make a, myself a hat out of that since I wear hats. Maybe I'll make a scarf to go along with it. Let me see. I got over 300 yards of a bulky five. I know what, I might get a couple more skeins. Let's see of this color. That is beautiful. Mm, it don't get much prettier than that, if you ask me. You, some of you guys are probably like, ew, that's ugly. But everybody has their own style and their own, their own flavor they like. I like browns, I like oranges. That is gorgeous. Creekside, that's mine. I'm gonna keep that and make myself something out of that too. I apologize, I'm gonna put a hat on now. It's been long enough. You see me without a hat long enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm almost done here. I don't have too much left. Oh, this is another one of those. Um, the green one that I showed you in the beginning. Okay. So now I have one more brand of Universal Yarns. And I got two colors of it. This one is called um, Universal classic shades sequence now i have owned this before i actually have two skeins of it on my shelf right now not these colors that i bought from another uh yarn company maybe um Daramores or something like that but um this is what it is classic shades sequence light i love sequence yarn it's, i love sparkly yarn Okay, let's read about it. 264 yards of a lightweight number three. 74 acrylic, 22 wool, 4% payette. That's the sequence. I, I, I probably didn't pronounce that right, but that's the sequence that's in it. Um, made in Turkey. 
produced exclusively for universal yarns with the finest fibers. Did I say where it was made? Yes, made in Turkey. Hand wash and lay flat to dry. So, scarfable, but it does have wool. You have to remember that. It's not going to be soft as some of these 100% acrylics that I'm talking about. But it's still soft enough to make a uh, scarf roving style again. They classify it as a three. So it will go from three to four. Maybe up to a five in some spots. Maybe down to a two. That's just the nature of a roving yarn. But overall, in general, it should stay... Um, close to a three weight yarn i'm going to agree with their assessment this the color of this one is called volcano um look at the colors in that and the sequence in that that is gorgeous can you see the sequence volcano that is pretty you see the sequence in there i love sequence yarn very very pretty showing up true to color and did I tell you how much these cost? Probably not. If I did, I'm going to say it again. These are $6.99 a piece. And that's probably because it's a sequence yarn. It's universal yarn. It is a lightweight three, 264 yards. It has a bit more yardage only because it is a lightweight three. But it's definitely gorgeous. I really, really like it. I apologize for my dog barking. Those sequins in there are pretty. And then I got one more color of it. Um, and this one is called Zenith. Zenith. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. You can really see the sparkles in that. It's got some cardboard on it. That is a pretty, pretty yarn. I wish I could make them sparkle for you more. Because I don't know if my camera's picking up the sparkles or not. But it is pretty. Very, very pretty. I like it a lot. <laughs> squishy, squishy. Passes my squish test, too. I'm going to pull the label off a bit more. And this is a black and white mix. And the sequins are uh, holographic colored. You can see that. See that? They catch the light just right, and they're a rainbow. Oh, that's beautiful yarn. That is beautiful yarn. And the sequence in this one, the reason why you might not... I don't know, I can still... I can see it myself, but maybe it may show up on camera. The sequence in this one is red. So it might not show up as good since this is a red yarn. But you can still see them, I hope. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. So that's it. That's my unboxing. Love it all! I knew I would. I knew I would. Um, like I said, I had I I had most of the well, I haven't. I haven't. The only one of these universal yarns that I think I've had before is this sparkly one, and I already knew I liked it. I don't have these colors. I have to say this black one right here is probably okay. These two are probably my favorite yarns that I got today. This one first. This one second. So I will save them for something for me. I love everything I got. And I think if you bought, this blue's pretty too though. I mean, can't lie about that. So is this green. I don't know. They're all pretty. So every single thing that I got, I am very happy with. I think the prices were decent. I would definitely purchase every single thing again at the price stated. Of course, I would always wait, try to wait for a sale if I could. Um, you know, sometimes Shamir has 20% off and stuff. But definitely, I think if any of you purchased any of this yarn, I do not think you would be disappointed. If you like the types of yarn that I said they would. Like, if you like roving style yarns in sequins, you're going to love this uh, sequence light from Universal. If you like roving style yarns without sequins, you're going to love the frenzy. And you're going to love the regular classic shades. They're all so beautiful. But if you don't like roving style yarns, you stay away from those. If you're looking for a nice, uh, in inexpensive, soft acrylic to do donations or just make yourself a blanket, Stitch Studio by Nicole that they have the at Premiere right now 
it's going to do the job. You'll, I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the softness factor, factor of that. And I think the frosty yarn is cute too. You know, it's just another addition to their sweet roll that they already have. So it's cute. Happy with everything I got? I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't. So I'm going to stack it up on my shelves and take it something to make. With what though? How do you choose? How do you choose between these? That's the biggest problem is how do you choose? But I'm going to think of something, and you guys look for it, okay? Um, as always, I appreciate you all watching. I have to take a drink because I've been talking so dang much. I'm sorry you had to see me without a hat, too, but a lot of people wanted to see me without a hat, so I did that. Don't, don't expect that to happen much. <laughs> Thank every, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out all my hundreds of crochet tutorials. Lots of, and if you don't crochet, I mean, I got like everything you could ever want crochet tutorial wise. Um, so check them out. Uh, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of them. If you don't crochet and you knit, hey, I got lots of yarn unboxings, lots of yarn reviews, and lots of yarn shopping. If you just want to know about yarn, I like to talk about yarn. So you are on the right channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Excuse me. And the subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, don't forget to check out my other vlog channel too. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.